Please put your hands together for the very funny Matt Dundas. That guy. Hey, I'm happy to be here. Very happy. Uh, I'm a stay-at-home dad for my two-year-old baby girl. That's my service. Yeah. What'd you all do? Uh, oh, poop violently in foreign countries is what I'm picking up from the show so far. And let me just start by saying, uh, on behalf of all stay-at-home parents, what I wouldn't give to only be pooping violently in a foreign country right now. <laughs> thank you. But no, thank you for your service. Uh, no, but I am. I am a stay-at-home dad, so pass the cocaine, am I right? I'm ready to rip loose. Uh, being the combo, though, the comedian and the stay-at-home dad, that means that you know I'm being honest when I tell you I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Ecstatic. I'm out. None of you are screaming at me yet. Thank you. How polite. Uh, do you guys know that babies can't do shit? <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm not on YouTube. I don't know what I was expecting. She's two years old. Can't do shit. I thought humans were neat. Uh, a year. After a year, she starts walking. One full year. She was born with legs, guys. They came out with a year. Then I turned on the Nature Channel, and I learned that the moment a horse is born, it gets up, shakes itself off, and gallops away. Moves out, gets work at Budweiser or something. I don't know where they go. But a human baby cannot even survive without its parents until it is 32 years old. <laughs> what did you guys do? Two years? Pfft, big deal. <laughs> I didn't like that. Okay, so. That's fine. That's fine. I do have advice for the non-parents in the room, though, and I mean this sincerely. Advice for the non-parents. Please, do everything you ever intend to do in life before having kids. Yes. Including dying. Uh, I don't know if that's on your bucket list, but I will check that box, because everything is harder. Uh, nothing is easy. I, I have trouble, I take her out on the town. You know, I take her out on the town. I think this, this is gonna be easy, right? Just take her out on the town. You know what happens to me? All the single women just walk up and talk to me. Ooh, well, isn't this a convenient time for that to start happening? Thank you. Man, oh, and I see what you did there. Hilarious. That's, that's, that's something. Good God, I should have had a baby in high school. I don't know what high school was like for you guys, but when you look like the results of a one-night stand between Conan O'Brien and Doogie Howser. Wrapping up on the <laughs> It's not the hardest thing I've ever done, though. Raise a baby, not the hardest thing I've ever done. That was wedding planning. Hardest thing I've ever done. Oh, a hush comes over the room. Yes, because it's just as hard as raising a baby, except there's almost no point. It's just, you know, you're planning a special day. That's nice. You know, whoop, whoop, DJ, a special day, one big day. And, and look, look, just to be clear, it was a great day. In fact, it was probably the single greatest day of my life. It took two years to plan. My second best day was a mushroom trip. One hour, that took an hour. <laughs> You eat them an hour later. Fantastic. I'm just saying, drugs, shortcut. That's all. <laughs> Kids? Anyway. Because there's, like, there's a way you're supposed to do wedding planning, and I don't know what any of it is. You know, I'm trying to be helpful. I'm filling out the invitations, and, and, and my wife comes in, and she's like, what are you doing? Calligraphy. Matt, calligraphy. But, you know, I want to be a good guy, you know. I, uh, I, I, I'm holding back my comments, you know, like, uh, honey, it's not the Declaration of Independence. Uh, if anything, it's the opposite of the Declaration of Independence. Like, not, but no, no. No, you don't say that. I get the special pens, you know, I fill it all out, I come back, I, I'm filling out the invitations. She's still mad, she's still mad. 
She's like, that says Bob and Abby Smith. That should say Mr. and Mrs. Robert and Abigail Smith. Because when you're sending out wedding invitations, everyone's a character in a Jane Austen novel. It's just amazing. Didn't have to invite anybody to that mushroom trip. Not one person. Nobody felt slighted. Nobody bugged me later. Two years to plan a day. It's a little disproportionate, isn't it? Two years to plan one day. You know, much more important decisions have been made in much shorter periods of time. Like what, I'll tell you, like the peace conference after World War II, sir. <laughs> Shut him down, didn't I? <laughs> that took 16 days, they planned the second half of the 20th century. Now, we were arguing over napkin size, they were like, fuck it, let's have two Germanys, what could go wrong? Next question. <laughs> You guys have been fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you.